Liberal Viewer presents. So one big problem facing Republican presidential challenger Mitt Romney this election is that a lot more voters think President Barack Obama is likable, with a Gallup poll from last May showing almost a 30-point gap in likability between Obama and Romney, which probably explains the great effort the Romney campaign is putting into portraying President Obama as mean and negative, helped along, of course, by Fox News, as you can see beginning in this clip. Governor Romney repeating claims that the Obama team is running a desperate campaign filled with reckless and dishonest attacks, in his opinion. Here he is. His campaign and the people who support him have launched a, a series of vitriolic, vituperative attacks on a personal basis, which I think is really demeaning the office of the presidency. It's very unfortunate. Uh, these ads, of course, are, are dishonest and distorting. Uh, but their uh, degrading nature, I think, uh, diminishes the White House. Hmm. Now, so far this report isn't too bad in terms of bias, with Fox News anchor Martha McCallum even pointing out what Mitt Romney said was just his opinion, but Fox News then immediately bolstered Romney's opinion with a clip of the opinion of Fox News' senior political analyst, Britt Hume, from the night before here. This is about as ugly as I've seen it get, and, um, and I've covered a lot of campaigns. Uh, this, is pretty, this is pretty rough. and. Um, you know, I think some of the things that have been said about Mitt Romney and, as you pointed out, you know, that Harry Reid allegation was just unbelievable. I mean, I've rarely seen anything like that from somebody as senior as the Senate Majority Leader. And, you know, these, these, these off-the-cuff comments that come from people like Senator Biden, he may not have meant it. Joe Biden personally is a nice guy, but he, he says these things from time to time, these That's remarkable terrible. things. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been pretty rough. Hmm. Now, not only did Fox News' senior political analyst Britt Hume bolster Romney's argument about Obama's negativity there, but supposedly straight news anchor Martha McCallum then also gave up any pretense of objectivity in her follow-up, agreeing with Britt Hume and going on to characterize attacks on Mitt Romney in the most negative terms in this clip. It, it has been pretty rough, uh, you know, when, when you look at it. And the, there's the charge that, you know, Harry Reid comes out and says, oh, well, I heard. I heard he doesn't pay his taxes. I, I can't tell you who said it. I just said, you know, that that's what I heard. And he's been called a felon. Uh, he's been called a, a murderer, if you take a look at that Priorities USA ad, Doug. Uh, is, this, is this the roughest campaign you've ever seen? Now, no Priorities USA ad called Mitt Romney a murderer, as I'll show in a moment. And no one from the Obama campaign called him a felon either. And not only did supposedly straight news anchor Martha McCallum take the Republican side, but Doug Schoen, the Democrat supposedly brought on for balance, also supported the main Mitt Romney Fox News talking point, as you can see in this clip. I think that Britt was right, and I hope that we can move away from it. The Obama campaign does deserve to be con condemned, I believe, for tactics that have no place in this campaign. <laughs> oh, and in case anyone thinks the Fox News anchor was merely formulating a tough question for the Democrat to answer and might be equally tough on the Republican guest... Here's the question Martha McCallum asked Republican Monica Crowley in the continuation of that clip here. It, you know, but it, it really takes the person at, at the top, I think, to, in this situation to stand up and say, I'm not going to accept this in my campaign. I don't want to hear this, uh, th this kind of talk. Uh, and so far, there's no signs that, uh, that the o Obama administration and the campaign have any, have any plan of doing that, Monica. That's right. After asking the Democrat to justify these exaggerated attacks on Romney as a felon and a murderer, the follow-up question to the Republican is about whether Obama has taken enough responsibility for stopping all the negative attacks. And the supposedly straight news anchor then compounded the bias in those questions by downplaying the Republican negative attacks on President Obama in this clip. When we go through and we look sort of for, you know, what is the worst thing that the Romney campaign has thrown at them? And when I looked at the comments of, from the Obama campaign about this, they're saying that, you know, that the president's divisive, that it's a campaign of hate. They find that to be an equivalent to what has been thrown at Mitt Romney. Uh, and also the charge that the president is degrading the presidency, which is a pretty strong charge. Mm, now, degrading the presidency is a pretty strong charge, but certainly not the worst of the negative attacks on Obama. After all, Mitt Romney's campaign with Donald Trump, who continues questioning whether the president is actually an American citizen. A Romney campaign advisor told a London newspaper that Obama doesn't understand America's Anglo-Saxon heritage. And also with a racial subtext, Mitt Romney is personally approving dishonest ads claiming President Obama is taking the work requirement out of welfare. But even worse than the inability of the Fox News anchor to come up with Republican negative attacks on Obama was the way Fox News just accepted and amplified Romney's talking point about the most negative campaign ever, which is why I was happy to see a much more balanced report on that topic from John Berman, co-host of CNN's Early Start program, who addressed the most negative campaign ever talking point in this clip. Is it the most negative ever? Well, 
No. Mitt Romney, the ad implies he was more or less responsible for a woman dying. And she passed away in 22 days. A stretch to say the least. Barack Obama, the ad says he wants to end welfare reform. You wouldn't have to work. Not really true either. Now, that's a more balanced look at the negativity of the Romney and Obama campaigns, but what was really enlightening about John Berman's report on CNN was the way he gave viewers the proper historical context in which to view claims of the most negative campaign ever, starting with the recent history you can see here. Every campaign in history seems like the most negative in history. 2010 likely to have the most negative campaign ads ever. The most negative campaign in memory. The most negative campaign any of us can remember. And beyond the perennial claims of the most negative campaign ever, CNN's John Berman also gave viewers important historical context about the negativity of campaigns in the past in this clip. Negative campaigns existed even before super PACs. Lyndon Johnson implied Barry Goldwater would start a nuclear war. Yeah. Grover Cleveland accused of having a child out of wedlock. Ma, ma, where's my pa? Andrew Jackson accused of killing a man and having a wife who was a bigamist. John Quincy Adams, it was said he procured prostitutes for the Russian czar. Thomas Jefferson, John Adams supporters once said his election would result in murder, robbery, rape, adultery, and incest. <laughs> So, with real charges of murder, rape, robbery, and incest in a past campaign, the Mitt Romney Fox News talking point about the most negative campaign ever looks pretty silly, I think, but I want to know what you think. Is there any truth to the Mitt Romney Fox News talking point about this campaign being the most negative campaign ever? And in terms of voters, will the Mitt Romney Fox News talking point about President Obama supposedly reaching a new low in negative campaigning really bridge the likability gap between Romney and Obama? I, YouTube, you decide.